It is October 7th, 2019. We're here at 7919 Normal Avenue in La Mesa, California, 91941. We're going to inspect the sewer mains to the house. We're here on the side of the house coming up, and we have a... Got some water going down the drain. We're going to hold off for a minute here. But we have the kitchen outside this window, and we actually do have a four and three inch sewer access pipe here. So things might have been shifted around. We're not really sure uh, why there's a large pipe here right by the kitchen. Normally it would only be a two inch in size. You can see it's going into a big puddle of water right there. Um, obviously, there should be never any standing water in the pipe. Everything's required to have a quarter inch of slope uh, downhill for every foot it travels. Um, um, sometimes if this was uh, just a clean out though um, and eventually catching a toilet really early on and was shifted um, the pipe that was just for a clean out may have not been closely inspected when installed to have that although it's still supposed to have it even though it's a clean out pipe uh, it can cause odors to come out so anyway, we'll see there might just be some debris or other stuff in here that's causing that water to be held up um, so you can see we've got a bunch of suds from the usage right now and there's going to be a lot of food and grease down any standard kitchen line so right now our camera is out of view now it could also be out of view because of some other hiccups with the pipe but we'll see so you can see we opened up a little bit there so we still have standing water in the line so what we're going to do is we're going to pull back our camera here and see if this kind of opens up so we can determine everything here it does appear to be still larger in size it's not two inch Back up through all that sludge and buildup. So you can see there's a lot of sludge and buildup in there. So that just needs a general cleaning. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the pipe. Um, but yeah, it's just full of debris right now. So again, this is a little bit different because the kitchen line doesn't normally have such a large access point like this. So you can see all that buildup in there. So that's going to need a snaking and or small hydro jetting relatively soon on the line. Everything is draining down the pipe, um, but it has got a lot of heavy buildup, and that's going to be with any home that's not brand new and has cast iron pipes, especially again on the kitchen line. So we just happen to have a larger access point, so there we go. So you can see we still have a little bit of standing water and debris in the system there. So that's going to lead to that. So sometimes once that's hydro jetted um, and scraped up, um, those little pockets may go away. Um, some more little build up right here on this turn we've got to go through. Looks like it's probably just a bunch of fat and grease that's floated up and hit the side of the walls. It's just trying to go down and out. Um, okay, looks like we have a vertical T junction right here, and this could be our powder bathroom that's literally right off the kitchen area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave our camera here and we're going to let it keep recording. We're going to go ahead and flush that toilet. Okay, so you can see all the water cascading by the line. So that certainly was the toilet junction right there. So just around the corner leaving the kitchen area have that little powder bathroom so that kind of rinsed our lens off a little bit so you can see those are just cobwebs there we do want to back up every once in a while we've actually had roots in a line and uh, positions you wouldn't think but it's not so we just wanted to double check that so again that's just a lot of fat food and grease that's getting put down hanging up at that corner so that's a turn that happens quite often so that was the toilet junction for the powder bath. Again, still all original cast iron pipes. A um, little bit of scale of buildup and deposits on the right and left hand sides off the bottom, but nothing severe, typical for the age of the home. So with these pockets and things, uh, the only thing we're going to be looking for since it's lived in house is that it basically doesn't have um, a bunch of toilet paper and feces uh, all over the place, which would mean that uh, it would need to be cleaned up because it's snagging and catching everything. We haven't seen any of that yet. Again, just more cobwebs up in there. Um, a lot of spiders or other bugs living up in there for some reason. Usually it'll happen more on a dry system. But so again, the cast iron is completely functional. We haven't found anything wrong with it. Just some standard build up. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure there's a lot of those little pieces. We're going to have to pull back. We have another camera um, that's a little bit more almost high definition, but it's not of the long. We have a 200 foot long camera here that we're using because of the distance it's going to be to the street. We may put in another camera to verify that that line, those aren't small fine roots. Um, now I'm getting a little bit suspicious that those may not be. Those might be small fine roots actually growing into the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue with this one because this is a lot longer camera. Um, and even though it's relatively clear, we have one that's actually even more high definition, but it's not a very long camera for this type of run that this house might need to get down to the city line and the street. So we're going to continue down the pipe. It's just really hard to see that little debris and on the top, all those little pieces see that too often but you can get roots under the foundation and under the slab of a house um, roots and mother nature grows very strong and very powerful and if the pipe is getting cracked or worn they can get in so again just little pockets of standing water here and there because you can see all this little build up little mounds here and there and that's just what causes that here's a t-junction on the line and then it appears right after this t-junction that's probably picking up the master bathroom um, you can see then that master bathroom is over by the front of the house. Here we have a drop on the line. Uh, now this may be going to the side of the house. It may be going to the front. We'll confirm that. We'll end up locating this. Um, this could be going to the other side of the house and then running down that side to get out to the street. So we're making a vertical turn here. And now we're making another transition. So this might be the new line that they had dumped into there. So you can see the water that's kind of dropping off our camera lens. We're actually hanging down. That's why we've got water droplets on the camera here. So we made that turn now. We're making a turn and across. So now it appears we're in a possible easement pipe um, that's running along the side of the house. And this may even be picking up other properties that are farther up above here. I um, can't guarantee that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just continue to push down this pipe. Now this is a lot larger pipe as you can see. And this is a clay concrete pipe. Um, this is probably six inches in diameter. Um, so this would probably be shared or was put in so large that it could accommodate future houses to attach onto here. So we'll just keep pushing out as far as we can go. And then we'll come back and confirm that position on the other side of the home. So this is probably not again going down the front yard which is a good thing for a sewer pipe and then so it's not the way the landscaping if there's anything wrong with it or if it's going to be a city maintained easement line still again all the same pipe here a little bit of debris in our camera lens flow off as we continue to push here we'll see Okay, we're going to go ahead and pause the video for a second. Okay, so we brought out a second camera. The first camera we put in, we actually thought it was our 200 foot, but it's actually a little bit shorter. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a little bit higher definition camera alongside this one that's already in here. We also put a centering skid guide on the end of the camera to kind of help bring it off. We really want to verify if any of that um, debris in the line was roots or not. Um, we definitely want to see. So you're going to see our orange uh, reddish push rod here. You can see we're kind of dragging a lot of that fat and grease and food build up in the line. Continue across here. So those are definitely little cobwebs there. A little bit more debris getting on our camera lens. We may go forward to the toilet flush and then it'll kind of clean it off again. Okay, so here's the area we're making that turn want to verify so we're going to push forward here a little bit here's the toilet dump so we're going to go ahead and put our camera here we're going to pause for a second okay so we've gone ahead and flushed that toilet cleaned off our lens as best as we could so we're going to pass through this area again one more time 
this would do double verification and none of this was root. So those are definitely little cobwebs there. Let's push forward. We're going to continue all the way actually to the vertical turn we showed with the other camera that's still in here. A lot of moisture blowing through the line here um, from the other activity and where the line might be tied into the other main, but it is looking like those are still all just white little cobwebs. It's just again, we wanted to double check um, because normally you don't see that kind of activity on a wet line, normally a dry line they'll be living in there, so but they don't appear to be roots. It's very strange to see that kind of there. There's a T-junction there. Again, this line was kind of sludgy with what we had to go through. And every time we put any camera in, we can't clean it off enough. There's just so much fat and grease on this main sewer. We have to penetrate first to get into the pipe. So it kind of clouds it up just a little bit. But we do have a little bit of different view with this particular camera. Here's that vertical turn. So we're going to go ahead and see if this is on the front of the house or if this is on the side of the house. So we're going to go ahead and set our camera here. We're going to pause and locate. Okay, so we've gone ahead and uh, located here where our camera is at this vertical downturn. Uh, you can see our, again our push rod in front of the, this one. And this is um, in fact on the other side of the house. Uh, directly across but a little bit closer to the front from here and we'll move our camera over because we're going to go ahead and inspect the laundry clean out that was installed um, that's got some newer plastic pipe in there we'll see if the underground pipe was redone at the same time so this is um, going across the house so what we will do is we'll uh, go for the master bathroom I doubt there's a clean out of the front of that we'll probably go up on the rooftop if we get on um, the type of shingles that are on the roof we'll check and inspect uh, the other bathroom where it junctions into this main so we're going to continue to leave the other camera push rod in there so we can see the T junctions where the other bathroom the master bathroom and then um, the laundry intersect into all this part of the system here um, the hall bath um, is going across from this side of the house as well and we'll just double check that in case it's not coming in real clean contact uh, with the way the uh, main sewer is running in between the bathrooms possibly. So we're going to pause and move our camera. Okay, so we moved over to the rooftop. You can see there's the garage. Uh, we have a laundry right there by that door and that little plant. We'll be putting our camera through there as well to see how that line runs and if it's all plastic or becomes cast iron. Uh, so we were on the other side of the house right there, uh, looking at the two-story house right at about the middle of that coming down. So the other bathroom is mostly directly across from here, so um, it should be a very short run when we go down the vertical uh, to see where this one junctions in. Again, we left our other camera in there, a little bit of cobwebs here as well, so we're going to put our camera down and we'll probably have to pull this back up real quick just to wipe those all off. Um, there's the bottom of the line making the transition, so we'll wipe this off really quick so we actually have the view again. There we go. Now you can see everything. So our other camera push rod is still in there from the original, so we should see this junction in relatively quickly. A little bit of debris there. There's a little bit of water to help rinse our camera off. And we can see the turn already. So, okay, so there's the other camera. So, again, as you can see, this is only literally a couple feet across um, horizontally. We're already coming back up the vertical uh, where that line for this master bathroom ties in. Um, now, the other master bathroom, which is in the front of the house, is where we're going to move to next. So, just wiping off our camera lens. We're going to go ahead and pause the video and move the equipment over to the master bathroom. Okay, so we moved over to the front of the house. You can see the front yard here. Here's the little outcropping of the roof um, where the master bathroom and bedroom are. Here's a newer two-inch ABS vent. Now, 
Um, because everything is redone here, we'll see this vent may have a bunch of turns on it, um, not directly above the toilet, but we're going to go ahead and try to get through this part of the system here. Uh, we do have a newer his and hers um, sink, so we know that everything was redone. Again, a lot of cobwebs, a lot of spiders wanting to live in this system. Pull our camera out really quick just to wipe it off. It wasn't too bad, but we want to try to make sure we get everything off that might be snagged on there. Okay. So there's a T-junction right there because everything is running off of one vent here. We have a tub, and then we have the two sinks. So this does look like this is dumping straight into the main. So this is all new plastic, as you can see. So this was remodeled at some point in time. Um, it's not the original cast iron. Here we have a turn in the line. And that looks to be a clean-out possible junction there. So um, this may not be continuing out um, the front of the house. So there may be a clean-out in the front. Um, that type of T right there is vertically up. And um, there's nothing else by here unless somehow either the sinks or the tub are dumping over the top of that line. So what we'll do is we'll pull back here just to sit underneath this. We're going to turn on our locator and see where this is at. Okay, so we did go ahead and locate this T, and that is a clean-out T like we thought, and it's actually in the front yard. So right at the corner of the house where this bathroom is, um, there's a wooden deck. Uh, there's a, a irrigation control valve, a um, little sprinkler um, planter piece holding, um, a sprinkler but a hose. And right under the wood there, um, under the wood deck, there's no access to it, is this clean-out. Um, so this line is, is all brand new, and... Uh, the slab wasn't jackhammered up um, when the bathroom was remodeled or put in. It comes out the front yard here. So um, we're headed across. We assume uh, as you're staring at the front of the house a little bit, the line's going from uh, right to left. Now here we have a turn on the line right there. We're headed across. Now this a little bit of a holding water there, but very, very minimal. Nothing that concerns us. A um, little bit of standing here. You can see that little bit of debris. You can see some white paper wipe hanging out right here that's not making it down all the way. And then you can see some feces here. So with these ultra low flow toilets we use, whenever you have any little part of the system that doesn't have that downhill slope or it even has a long run, like we're almost at about um, a little over 30 feet uh, across here. Our counter says 4711, but of course you got to deduct about the 15 feet for the vertical we went down. Uh, that's what'll just happen, even with a smooth pipe. That little bit of holding water slows everything down. Um, so, you see that little bit of buildup on the line here as they're trying to run this across or how it was put in. Looks clear here. Going across. Still don't have a junction into that other main that the main part of the house is connected into from the other side of the house. Let's see if this is it here. Okay, so there we go. Here's our push rod. Here's the cast iron T junction. And here's our other line that we were in already. And there's our push rod from the other camera that we had already gone through um, that part of the system. Just going to see if we could actually make that turn. There we go. And then you can see there's actually another clean out right here. Um, that's that turn we might have tied into. So we kind of shot across and came back over to that same position possibly. Um, let me go ahead and locate and see. Um, so it's possible they came out of the house and then back and across here. So we're gonna go ahead and pause and locate. Okay, so this is the original spot we were at on the side of the house. Um, so we're back to that original cast iron there. Again, there's our other push rod. Here's the T-junction. So it actually appears that even though this line first leaves the bathroom and goes to the front yard, and we'll show it on the video when we pull our camera back out, a buried clean out that's outside of the house, the line runs across and then turns back in and then gets back in from under the house and ties into the same position. So um, 
definitely um, a different way to run the line, but this is how it was done. So um, it appears it might be running along the whole side of the house um, because they wanted to catch it in this location possibly before it got too deep or didn't want to dig it up. So that's why we have such a long run here of almost 60 feet um, or a little over 60 feet to where it dumps in. So we're going to pull back here on the line and we'll locate to see if this is on the side of the house. So we'll just pull back about this 10 feet. We're going to pause and locate one more time. Okay, so we went ahead and verified this line is running along the side of the house. So um, the T-junction, of course, is original cast iron, um, but when the bathroom was remodeled or if it was added, um, there was an original cast iron T. But this all new plastic line that you see here that we're now going to come back again in reverse uh, towards exiting uh, is all on the left side of the house. And then it's going to come around the front and make that right turn. So again, you can see all this, again, paper and feces. It's not moving down the system very well. So, see it all bunched up there and just sitting there. And then you got that little bit of standing water there for this constant little run. Now again, with enough shower or tub usage in that bathroom or the sink usage, that's going to help move that through there. and shouldn't cause stoppages, but I cannot guarantee it. Now there's no way to fix that because the pipe already has basically um, the slope that it can achieve. We can see that it's, you know, got no way to achieve more fall because it's tying into the cast iron at one level height. So it can't be raised up or brought down along this path to kind of correct this little bit of a situation. And again, it's not a huge situation, but when you have turns on the line and then in conjunction right at the turn, that standing water, that's going to slow everything down except the liquid um, from traveling down smoothly and uh, effectively the way it should. So we're going to move our camera out to shoot the laundry and now we're going to show the two clean outs. Um, so this clean out here on this line, we'll be coming back to here shortly, is going to be an important one that's under the wooden front yard deck that needs to be um, accessible so that if that sludge that we just passed through did build up really heavily for some reason due to the type of usage it might get, um, you could clean it out with not having to go from the rooftop or from pulling the toilet, of course. So that's the clean out and we'll show that where it's buried under the deck. Now, we'll double check, maybe the deck does have a cutout to try to lift some boards. If not, then it would need to be cut, and then you can put some, of course, then some spots with some easy screws to pull out one or two panels so it could be accessed if need be. So we're coming back under the house now, literally, and now we're coming back up right here through the vent. Just gonna show all this again one last time frame of reference here when we pull back out wipe off our camera lens so again we're here under the master bathroom here's the street so the line actually comes out to this front of the house and runs all the way across that side and then over to the right and we'll show again where the two clean outs are so now we're going to go ahead and pause and move over to the laundry line Okay, so you can see we move down to the door here by the entrance to the garage. Here we have the two inch laundry drain line. Um, this is all new plastic here. Now you can see right here we got a little bit of standing water in this line the way it was put in as well. Um, so not supposed to be that way, but with a laundry shouldn't be a problem. Let's just make sure that it doesn't get worse than this. So there we go, we came out of that already. So I can see that's why there's that little bit of sludge and build up there on the line, but pretty minimal. We do have that standing water. So when this was redone, this was all replaced. The cast iron was abandoned at some point. This was all dug up and redone. Uh, they just didn't put it in very well. Now we're really under a decent amount of water. You can see all that build up here. So now um, our one inch camera head um, is completely underwater and now the lens is a little bit more than five eighths above but it looks like a majority of the camera is underwater so um, but I'm assuming that these people aren't having suds and water come out of the laundry drain itself um, see we're pushing just a little bit of debris there trying to punch through that there we go so 
This is running. Now here's our turn on the line. So this is our left turn. So this should be heading towards the rest of the main sewer where we had that three inch clean out that was put on the side of the home uh, where it also dumps in too. So here we've got our little left hand turn going down. So this clean out here that we see, there's a vertical going up. I believe that is the clean out is on the side of the house, which will show, which eventually right below it is where the main sewers are coming together, where we all had mentioned and showed it. So there we go. So there's the original cast iron. There was a clean out here. They cut it off, turned it into plastic, and put the laundry line in here. Unfortunately, they didn't run it a little bit deep enough and make sure it had proper slope on that laundry, but there's the main from the house coming in. There's our orange push rod. Again, we're looking vertically down, so we got some water droplets hanging on our camera lens. So we'll move our camera over to that position and show that. So we're going to pause and pull back our camera. Okay, so we have our camera back out. So what we want to show really quick here, I'm going to wipe this off. This is the clean out that's here. Now, because this is only for the laundry and the utility sink, um, I'm not overly concerned that it doesn't have perfect downhill slope and has that long sag belly holding water. Um, the reason I'm showing the front clean out here and the threads is you can see there's no what we call wear indicator marks. So I believe the homeowners might have said they've been here for about two years or the agents have said that. And so I don't think this has ever had to be snaked or hydro jetted or clean because normally you'll get a wear indicator mark from the cable and the pushing that goes through the system to clean this out. Again, if this was carrying any other part of the system other than just the laundry, which is just getting soap, suds, liquid water, a little bit of lint over time, I'd be more concerned about it, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, but again, the only way to fix it would be to go ahead and dig up literally from here all the way across this entire walkway, past the around the HVAC unit to where we're going to show where the uh, clean out is, where this line is headed. So I'm going to pause the video for one second. Okay, so we double checked and the laundry um, inside the garage is going into a uh, wall box um, where the stand pipe and trap are buried in the wall and it comes across and junctions into the utility sink. Um, so we did notice that this is only inch and a half pipe here coming out of the wall and then you can see it goes into the larger two inch pipe right there. Well the laundry is actually required to be two inch the whole way. The utility sink can be inch and a half but the stand pipe and the trap for the laundry have to be two inch. Again, in the old days, they actually did do inch and a half, and they did it in metal pipe. So I do, um, you know, want you to think that there's any functional problem that's probably going to occur on the system. But when you go to sell the home or anybody that does, be aware that it's going to possibly be pointed out to you that it's not the right size. Um, so uh, the, the lines inside also have a sanitary T that we're used to connect into, and that's not a proper type of T fitting. Um, so they're very minor points. Um, they're not going to probably cause any issues. Um, I just need to point them out because they're not perfectly to code. So let me go ahead and pause this one more time. We'll move over to the cleanouts. Okay, this is a little bit of a tight working area for all our equipment. So anyway, we've got our camera pulled out. Again, this is the side of the house. The main sewer for the master bath comes down over. And then right underneath here, there is a three inch ABS clean out plug. So that's where the laundry was dumping into, right below that clean out. And that's where our, the main sewer that comes from out of the house, the side of the house, catches the main from the kitchen, the powder bathroom and the hall bath, all comes across and dumps in underground to here. And then it runs the same direction on the side of the house the other way. And so again, the laundry, if you had to correct, you'd have to dig from there across here and H back around back over to the garage but I really don't feel it's necessary um, uh, as far as any issues it could be with the system so we're gonna go ahead and move over to the other clean out that's buried under the front deck okay so we move to the front yard here to show this other buried clean out it's a, again a two-way clean out actually we have our flashlight kind of shining down in there so you can see right there there are the two clean outs there's one there and we'll turn our flashlight down there's the other one so that's for the master bathroom for 
this run with that little bit of sag belly to the line where we showed that little bit of white paper debris and standing water so you really want to have access to this so this board and this board here would need to be cut um, just past the um, two by sixes that are supporting them so that these could be done again um, easily in the future removed so you have to put another little cross support so anyway we want to show where that clean out as well as the other one we just showed on the side of the house after the laundry so everything else has an overall clean bill of health and that concludes this recording